Welcome to the Experience More Tour Table Talk Series. My name is Marshall. I'm the host and facilitator of the Experience More Tour. And today we are here with Arcteryx to talk about Spring 22 uh, footwear product coming out from Arcteryx. Today we're going to talk about a couple of hot new styles that are about to drop. And to do that, we've got Aaron Long uh, calling in from Portland, who's going to show us the nuts and bolts of these great new products. With that, I'd like to bring up Aaron, and I'll be back in a little bit to talk about the Gore-Tex technology. Yeah, thank you so much, Marshall. I'm really excited to, to be on this platform and uh, super stoked to chat a little bit about Arcteryx, uh, Arcteryx footwear. Uh, a little about myself, um, I've actually been with Arcteryx for seven and a half years now. And uh, before that, I was with, uh, with REI for four years, so a bit of a lifer in this industry. And I'm also a, a core athlete in, uh, in the sports that, that we play with. So I'm an active skier. I grew up rock climbing and, uh, you know, I've been trail running for a long time. I'm not an active trail runner. I had too many ankle injuries at this point, but I, I still love uh, getting outdoors uh, kind of however I can. So I uh, love utilizing this product and I've learned a lot about it in just the time that uh, I'm out in the wilderness uh, having uh, time on the trail. So uh, without further ado, our footwear. So I think this uh, statement really grounds us in our like footwear ethos and kind of who we're designing shoes for. Um, so Arcteryx footwear, a step beyond boundaries. We live in a wild place. Our opportunities for adventure are limitless. Delivering confidence and comfort, Arcteryx footwear frees adventurers, trail runners, climbers, hikers to step beyond traditional boundaries and expand their exploration of the places they love. So I really think that kind of like grounds us in um, who we're designing footwear for, who, footwear for uh, trail runners, climbers, hikers, and just like our, uh, our outerwear, um, really expanding exploration, trying to be able to get uh, further, go climb higher um, with more confidence, lighter weight materials, and just rock solid design. Um, so with that, uh, the next slide here leads us into and, you know, we've kind of always seen these these marketing slides of these big pitches of, of all the different materials that are extrapolated between the outsole and, and the upper and you know, everything that's sandwiched in between. Um, but I like to break it down with just, you know, it, we're like simplicity without sacrifice. So we're trying to utilize lightweight and durable designs and utilizing uh, premium fit and comfort. And then we're really making sure that we're um, partnering up with the best material manufacturers um, for a focused climate management. So that's why we're uh, partnering with Cortex. So um, next slide here is our, uh, this is our footwear uh, range architecture. I love this slide. I kind of, I always envision myself playing uh, either in the valley or running down or climbing up on these peaks, but it just shows you where we're designing footwear for. Um, so um, kind of bucket into our categories, the Conceal franchise. This is all of our approach shoes. So kind of out um, anything that's kind of outside of climbing, um, trekking, or uh, alpine mountaineering. Um, that's kind of the Conceal franchise. And then the Norvan series is all of our trail running shoes. So uh, Norvan stands for North Vancouver. So a lot of inspiration just right from the backyards of our headquarters. But this uh, series encompasses all of our trail running uh, footwear. And then the Arias franchise is all of our, our hiking inspired, like fast and light backpacking um, footwear. So rain runs from like a really lightweight hiker to a multi-day backpacking boot. Um, and then the Acrux uh, footwear is all of our mountaineering alpine boots, like a double boot ice climbing boot. So um, really running like um, footwear for every kind of sport that our core guests and consumer um, is is into and then kind of also just embodies all of the outerwear um, that that our church has uh, been known for. So uh, breaking that down further, I think it's it's really just like we're all about um, trail running, alpine rock climbing, and hiking and trekking. So with our trail running shoes, um, we're using lightweight construction uh, and design principles, making sure that they're comfortable, protective, um, and just really allowing runners to move faster, travel further, challenge themselves on technical terrain. Um, and then the alpine rock climbing shoes, the approach shoes and mountaineering shoes are leveraging. Um, this is really for like hard wearing protection, more stability, more support, more torsional rigidity. Um, this is really giving you confidence to travel on technical terrain. Maybe you have a loaded backpack. You need some more ankle support, um, more smearing capabilities on slick rock or um, penetration um, with the lugs. 
And then our hiking trekking line, the areas franchise, this is really about building versatile, comfortable footwear um, for the challenges of like rugged landscapes, multi-day backpacking trips, um, or lightweight hiking um, adventures. We're really taking a lot of that inspiration out of our trail running franchise, the Norvan series, and kind of understanding that a lot of folks are actually out there hiking in trail running shoes but we're leveraging that kind of ethos of a trail running shoe and utilizing more durable materials, maybe a little bit more um, protection um, and a little bit more uh, just durability in that footwear design just so they're uh, hold up to that kind of abuse. Um, so that's a little bit about the, the footwear architecture. This slide, I think, is a really great day in the life. So um, as we talk about the Norvan series, our trail running shoes, um, like I had mentioned earlier, it's our, um, it kind of, it stands for North Vancouver. So we're really building the inspiration out of our backyard. So um, kind of Pacific Northwest trails, um, specifically outside of our headquarters is the Baden-Powell Trail, and it's a 50 kilometer um, trail right outside of, uh, out outside of the um, head office and the trails run, um, you know, it's, it's, it could be slick, muddy terrain. It could be rocks, roots, um, bridges in there. And, uh, you know, it really runs all kinds of stuff. So you need a lot of comfortable, uh, you need comfort and stability and durability, but this is kind of paints the picture of like, of where we're, where we're running. This is, uh, this is the product reveal. So this is the all new Norvan LD3. Um, GTX. So this is the Gore-Tex model, of course. And um, the Norvan LD is our long distance trail running shoe. So long distance, it could be for tackling that entirety of the Baden-Powell trail, that 50 kilometer run, or it could just be like running long distances. You know, maybe it's a trainer, maybe you're running like multiple days in a row, you're pounding that, that running shoe and you're having it for a long period of time. Um, it's really giving you comfortable for a long day on the trail. Uh, a lot of the same things we loved about that old shoe, but we're really talking about um, kind of the updates with it. And so I think it looks like it starts with the midsole. So we have an all new midsole foam, um, the new infused midsole foam and an increased stack height. So that's going to help minimize that uh, or maximize that underfoot comfort. And then it's going to help uh, provide more force absorption give you a better softer feeling underfoot. And then the outsole um, just has a, a lightly updated lug design and that's gonna increase the traction on softer ground. And we've also increased the lug depth to four millimeters. So it's just gonna give you a little better traction, a little bit better confidence underfoot. And then I think most importantly is we've had an, we have an updated last. So we have an internal shape of the shoe that's now increased in volume in that forefoot. You can really see it and highlighted in this picture. That increased volume in the forefoot is going to improve that fit overall. And then it just helps accommodate foot swelling, which definitely happens on longer runs. So, um, you know, every one of these updates is all about improving the comfort comfort of the shoe through extended runs. And that's gonna help you just forget about your shoes, focus on the trail and enjoy um, being out there, um, getting some exercise or just uh, getting some fresh air. So uh, love love the updates on the Norvin LD, um, just lightweight, super comfortable, uh, lots of support and, and fantastic cushioning for a great feel underfoot and a, and a great run. So uh, next shoe. Um, the Arias franchise, like I had mentioned, this is our fast and light hiking, backpacking, trekking realm. And Arias, um, this has been a franchise for our Cherix for a while, started out with a um, kind of do it all, jack of all trades backpack. And then it kind of morphed into the Arias franchise that we see now, which really takes the elements of run and the Norvan franchise and beefs it up into like a hiking, backpacking terrain product reveal here. This is all the all new Arios AR GTX. And so this takes kind of what was, what is a super popular franchise, the Arios FL, the fast and light Arios, and this beefs it up. This is the Arios AR GTX. So this is going to give you um, more confidence to take on longer days, more difficult terrain, like multi, multi day backpacking trips. Um, I like to think of it uh, kind of in three different buzzwords, and that's freedom, comfort, and support. 
freedom. Uh, you know, you can't afford a twisted ankle, but this shoe is incredibly lightweight and the materials and construction still provide that support and protection while maintaining an incredible amount of agility, freedom, uh, and fit that's really uncommon for this style of footwear. I mean, it, it looks like a big boot, but it rides and feels like a lightweight sneaker, like a high top sneaker. So um, it's all because of that one piece polyester upper, um, uh, thermal molded, uh, or sorry, a TPU overlay. And then, um, yeah, just a really lightweight collar. Um, so lots of, uh, lots of comfort, which is the next speaking point. And, uh, you know, it's all about having a really lightweight, comfortable shoe. So you, you roll out, of uh, roll out of your tent, uh, or your hut in the morning and you're not looking at your boots with dread outside of just being in a uh, super lightweight, uh, we're partnering with Gore-Tex for, uh, for great waterproof, breathable protection. Um, a lightweight EVA midsole gives us great shock absorption. And then, um, you know, lots of support in that shoe as well. And then I'll mention it, it takes that same last as that Norvan shoe. So um, we're going to really have a good focus on fit, lots of four foot um, volume, um, and uh, a great amount of just width in that forefoot. So when you're treading and tromping around or wearing some uh, thicker socks, you're going to be really comfortable in this new boot. Just to review uh, some of the speaking points, um, yeah, Arcteryx has been into footwear for a while, um, making shoes with um, pr premium, you know, uh, design, uh, craftsmanship materials. And we're really focusing on our core demographic, which is um, runners, hikers, backpackers, and climbers. And um, we're making shoes for, you know, approach category, trail running shoes, uh, lightweight hiking shoes, and then mountaineering boots. And then the two shoes I, I spoke of today were the Norvan LD3, which is a long distance trail running shoe. Um, very lightweight, comfortable, um, increased stack height. So a lot of cushioning underfoot, um, really comfortable shoe to run in. And then the Arios AR is an all day or multi-day backpacking, hiking, trekking boot. Um, very lightweight, um, think freedom, comfort and support with that. And it's, uh, it's a really beautiful looking clean design as well. So. Um, really uh, exciting footwear coming out for this season uh, with Arcteryx, and I hope you uh, get a chance to try them on or at least take a look at them in a store. Thanks, Aaron. Uh, thanks for sharing with us uh, some of those new shoes and the, the Norvan LD3 and the Arios AR Mid. Uh, th those are some fantastic shoes to be looking at and talking about. So uh, appreciate the sneak peek and can't wait to get my feet into those sometime soon. Um, but what I would like to do now is talk a little bit about some of the Gore-Tex technology incorporated into those and specifically looking into the world of breathability and how, how that's incorporated into these particular products, right? So when we think breathability in products and we think customers coming in um, asking about breathability, right? They're like, oh, Gore-Tex, is it breathable? You know, and the answer is yes. And we're going to give you some, some reasons why, why we can answer that with confidence um, after this session. But in shoes, you know, Overall, what affects our breathability? Well, we start with socks. You know, having the right sock, having a, a good wicking sock, something made out of wool that's going to pull moisture vapor off of your foot and and disperse that into uh, sort of vapor so that it can get through the shoe is really key. So having a high quality, relatively new sock is going to um, very much affect that clamminess feel in the shoe. The next step is is that membrane, right? So you're, we're going to have a barrier from the elements um, in the shoe. Um, in this case, it's a Gore-Tex membrane, and that uh, can affect the breathability, right? Different membranes will affect the breathability in different ways. And we'll, we'll dive into that in just a second. And then uh, um, uh, one of the biggest factor, of course, is the uppers materials that are used on, on the shoe. So is it mesh? Is it leather? How much TPU is used in there? TPU is not breathable. Um, what kind of foams are incorporated into the shoes to support breathability? Or if breathability isn't the priority to support um, maybe a, a comfort feel or protection on the outside of the shoe. So all of these are going to affect breathability. At Gore-Tex, we're concerned with the overall breathability of the shoe. So we call that the resistance to evaporative transport or RET. And we do a whole shoe breathability test on every style that has the Gore-Tex name on it to understand the, the overall breathability. And what we're looking for is to make sure that each shoe falls within a breathability spec for its end use category. So something like a trekking shoe, um, which is designed to be used days on end all day uh, probably made out of a full leather, um, is going to have a particular breathability spec. Now, something like a running shoe 
it, which is designed to be used, um, you know, probably for shorter periods of time, higher aerobic, maybe more perspiration in our feet is going to need to have a different breathability spec, right? More breathable. And so we've set those numbers uh, based on our comfort studies. And then we're going to test shoes based on the category for which they're designed for to make sure that all those components, the membrane and the uppers um, are going to have that overall breathability spec um, that we're looking for. So what affects that breathability? You know, I alluded to some of that before. You look at these two shoes right from the top down, they look relatively similar, but as we start to zoom into these, they're actually quite a bit different. For instance, let's just look at the tongue area and the cushioning that Arcteryx has applied over this. You know, Arcteryx is very strategic and very purposeful about the types of materials they're gonna be building with. And um, in something like the Aerios, they're gonna choose a tongue material that's gonna be a little more cushiony um, to hold that, that the vamp of the shoe against your instep in a way that has minimal pressure points, right? Let's distribute that weight so that when we're wearing that shoe all day, day in and day out, we have a nice kind of uh, a, a distributed feel of comfort across the top. Well, those types of foams are not gonna be as breathable as a foam that they might use in something like the Norvan LD3 Gore-Tex, which is, if you look closely, you can see there's little holes uh, perfed into the foam inside, right? To open up the breathability that affects that hold across the top, but this shoe doesn't need to have quite that level of, of hold that the Arios does. And so we can, or Arcteryx can open up the breathability in that shoe by choosing different foams. So what that means in the world of Gore-Tex is we're gonna match the liner, the, the membrane that's in there to those types of materials on the, on the upper of the shoe. So for instance, in the Arios, we're gonna need to spec out a, a, maybe a more durable, longer lasting type of membrane or, or laminate package that goes into there. And that's okay because it's matched up with the dirt, with the breathability of the upper. Whereas in the Norvan LD3, we're actually gonna use a technology called Invisible Fit, which is optimized for breathability um, and, and sort of that coolness feel inside the shoe because that shoe requires a more breathable uh, component, but maybe a slightly less durable component. So again, the, the point here is that we've, we've matched it up. And, and you think in the world of running, okay, well, why do I even need Gore-Tex in there? Well, the point is that we're going to go out on trails and we don't know what we're going to get, right? And, 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 and whether it be in the spring, the summer, or the fall, we might have variable conditions. In, in my neighborhood where I live, in, in North Cascades of Washington State, these are typical conditions on an average day out in the spring, right? I might start and have wet trail conditions that you see on the left, but as I get up into maybe a sun-exposed ridge, um, I'm going to be into this type of condition that you see on the right. So I want a shoe that's going to perform really well in both of these. It's going to be both, both waterproof and windproof, but also extremely breathable so that my feet don't get wet from the inside out when I'm on those sun exposed ridges. So I need a, 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 the Gore-Tex technology to be in that footwear, but I've also needed to be extremely breathable to work with me during that run. And Gore-Tex is then applying specific technologies into a shoe like the Norvan LD3 to ensure that it's going to work in that running condition. So that's a little talk about breathability um, and how we approach uh, the, the, the problem in running shoes and how we solve that um, through the application of our core benefits of waterproof, windproof, and breathable. So um, with that, I'd like to thank you for uh, listening to this today. Um, please be sure to browse around Experience More Tour website to see what else we have on there for you. There's a lot of information geared towards uh, folks who are working in the outdoor industry, specifically in retail. And we have a lot of fun putting it together. So thanks for watching and we'll see you back on additional Table Talks. And big thanks to Aaron for showing up today and, and giving us that great tour of those shoes as well. Take care.